Okay, let's get started. We're in the muscular system. The muscle tissues, they're able to contract. So they have the contractility, they're able to get shorter. And this slice represent the structure of the muscle at the molecular level. It's organized like a sacromere. And the sacromere have those small muscle filament. Uh, we talk about it in the skeletal system of the cells. It's called a, a filament. So you have the thick filament and thin filament. When the muscle contract, is the filaments overlap more. When they overlap more, the whole sarcomere gets shorter. And the muscles are made of a lot of sarcomere, so the whole muscle gets shorter. And muscle attached to bones. When the muscle contract, you're gonna pull a bone closer to the other bone. That's how they create a movement. We totally have three different kinds of muscles. We have the skeletal muscle, the cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. We're gonna spend a lot of time talking about the skeletal muscle. And that's the one you can voluntarily move. When you go to the gym, you exercise, you exercise skeletal muscle. And this slides tell you the structure of skeletal muscle. So when you look at the slides, you found that a lot of light, dark pattern, we call them uh, striation. Sometimes it's called a striated pattern. And the reason you see the striated pattern is those thick filament and thin filaments organized pretty well. Every time you see them organized pretty well, you know this muscle is capable of producing a big power including the skeletal muscle and also cardiac muscle, you can see the striation. And in the smooth muscle, you don't see the striation because their thick filament and thin filaments don't organize pretty well. You don't use your smooth muscle to produce a big power. And that's skeletal muscle. So you found this is the muscle fiber and you see the striated pattern. And also their nucleus being pushed to the side. Every cell have a nucleus. And you find all the nuclei have been pushed to the side. They all fuse together. So that's a special characteristic of skeletal muscle. It's very difficult to identify this is one muscle cell. There's another one. They all fuse together in order to produce a big power. Because of that, we usually don't call muscle muscle cells. We call them muscle fibers and they all fuse together. This is cardiac muscle. You find cardiac muscle in the heart only, not blood vessel. Blood vessel is smooth muscle. This muscle, you found, you still see the light dark pattern. So this tells you this muscle also capable of producing a big power. And the heart need to produce a big power to send the blood to your brain, to your toe and come back. And the difference between the skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle is cardiac muscle, you see they fuse together. We call them interconnected disc. That's the fusing line. So you're able to identify, okay, about one cell, about another cell. And they also branch out because the heart is like a, like a, like a 3D ball. So they, they have to branch out. That's the difference between the skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle. So that's cardiac muscle. You still see the striation, striated pattern, and you can see the intercollected disc, which you, you can only find in cardiac muscle. This is smooth muscle. Smooth muscle, you find them in your small intestines, in your inner organ, in your blood vessel. This muscle, you apparently you don't use your small intestines to lift those 40 pound heavy stuff. So this muscle is not designed to produce a big power. And because of that, their, their thin filament and, and thick filaments don't line up pretty well. So you don't see the striated pattern. Under the microscope, they look like a cell. We call it spindle shape cell. And that's smooth muscle. So that's how they look like under the microscope. They look like a cell. These slides tell you the muscle's function, including the movement, maintain posture. Uh, muscles 
help the bones together to maintain muscle stabilizing joint and also protect like your abdominal cavity there is no bone there all they have is muscle layers of muscle these are the characteristic of muscle tissues first is contractility muscle are able to contract second one is called excitability so muscle cells are able to produce electrical signal excitability uh, you can find it in muscle you can also find it in neuron when we talk about the neuron neuron is also excitable extensibility you are able to pull them longer elasticity means you are able to bend them and this is the cardiac muscle and you found it spontaneously fire under the microscope and the rest of the lecture we're gonna talk about the skeletal muscle tissue and this table show you you we have three different kind of muscle uh, oh sorry this 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 table tell you the, the in the muscles they have some terminology used for muscles like we usually don't call the muscle cells we call the muscle fiber and the the muscle we call the sarco so every uh, it's like in a bone we call the osteum every time you see the osteum you osteo you you know this the bone and the muscle is called the sarco so the cell membrane is called the sarcolemma and inside the cells we call them cytoplasm and in the muscle we call them sarcoplasm and the ER endoplastic, endoplasmic reticulum in the cells uh, turn into SR sarcoplasmic reticulum in the muscle and we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this in the muscles the SR turn into the calcium container you need to have a lot of calcium for muscle contraction and that's the SR muscles are pretty well organized so this is a skeletal muscle and this is a cellular level we call the muscle fiber and those muscle fibers inside you have those microfiber that are still pretty well organized and you put a lot of muscle fiber together and we call them fascicle fascicle it's it's a it's a combination of muscle fiber so when you eat meat you are able to peel those fibers off and these are the fascicle and when you put the fascicles together combined with blood vessel and nerves and now you have a big muscle so the muscle are pretty well organized and if I give you a big muscle say the biceps bronchii that's the big muscle you have the muscle tissue you have the blood vessel you have the nerves and by definition more than one kind of tissue together it's an organ so if I give you a big muscle uh, biceps bronchii by definition is an organ so these slides tell you the same information muscles are pretty well organized so this is the muscle fiber we don't call the muscle cell we call the muscle fiber and we put a lot a lot of muscle fiber together and those muscle fiber outside you put a connective tissue called the endomesium is a connective tissue and together that's the fascicle so fascicle is when you eat uh, fried chicken you eat turkey you're able to peel those fiber off with your hand these are fascicle and you're able to peel them off because they are organized uh, outside you put the the, the paramecium there's a, another connected tissue cover it and you put a lot of fascicle together this is a big muscle and outside you put the epimecium cover it and through tendon they use tendon to connect to the bone and this show you the cross section of the muscle so you see the endomysian this is this is one muscle fiber and put them together is the fascicle and there's the paramecium and together there's a whole big muscle and there's the epimecium muscles connect to bones through tendons so tendons are dense connective tissue and sometimes you find the term called epineurosis epineurosis is a big layer of tendon like you found them in the uh, skull 
and you also find it in the abdominal cavity. So muscle cells, we call the muscle fiber. And we now look at the muscle cell structure. And muscle fibers are pretty well organized. So this is the muscle fiber. And inside part, those thick filament and thin filaments are pretty well organized. And we call them sarcomere. So the whole one, each one unit, we call them sarcomere. And you put those muscle microfiber, those thick filaments, thin filaments, in uh, organized sarcomere together. And that's the muscle cell, we call the muscle fiber. And outside you have a cell membrane, the, we call it sarcolemma. Okay, let's take a short break. <laughs>